What's going on guys? How's everyone doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. Welcome to another episode of The Body Beatdown. Today we are talking about the foods that you put into your body and the ingredients that goes along with it, guys. Uh, there's a lot of healthy foods out there that are not really all that healthy. And the problem is, is it's being pushed to you as healthy. Uh, what you need to do is you need to look at the ingredients. Now, I know it's a pain in the butt to look at ingredients because it's written in the smallest print known to man, right? But if you stick with simple things, uh, the ingredients should be very simple. So uh, we're gonna look at a few of the things that I eat. It's basically a lot of the main stuff that I eat uh, every day, every week, and uh, it's very simple and to the point. So let's take a look, guys. All right, that, that's, that's a uh, quick look at what I eat. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look at most of what I eat here and the ingredients. Uh, let's go ahead and start with baby spinach. All right, now this baby spinach has seen better days, but it's still edible for now. Uh, the ingredients are uh, baby spinach. That's what the ingredients are, baby spinach. Okay, we all know that that's good for you. Pacific Cod. Let's look at the ingredients here. Let's see. Pacific Cod, water, sodium, tefeflebebe, to retain moisture. So whatever that thing is that I can't pronounce, it's to retain moisture. They don't even need that, probably. They put stuff in food sometimes for no real reason. We have pink salmon. The ingredients. Pink salmon. Sodium. Chapafosalate. Whatever. To retain moisture. So it's the same thing in there as well. I also eat tilapia. Uh, but I don't have any in the freezer right now. And I always get chicken tenders. Uh, I like the way chicken tenders cook up better than a, a whole breast. Uh, ingredients, uh, I'm gonna say there are no ingredients, it's going to be chicken. But we know usually stuff like this has water added and stuff like that. And I'm gonna go ahead and put this back in the freezer. Uh, don't want it to go bad. So let's get the fish and all that back in the freezer. Stuff costs a lot of money, as we all know. All right. We got asparagus, okay? What's an asparagus? Asparagus, that's, what, that's what's in this asparagus. I always get a shredded cheese, and nine times out of 10, I just get the Mexican blend, because it's got like, you know, a blend. Uh, the ingredients in this are more than what I like, but you know what? In order to get less ingredients, you're more than likely gonna have to make your own cheese. Ingredients, Monterey Jack cheese, pasteurized milk, cheese, cultured salt, enzymes. And we know that that kind of stuff is how, is how kind of cheese gets made is with the enzymes kind of helping to break stuff down or whatever, something like that. Uh, salt enzymes, color added, queso that's blah, blah 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 cheese pasteurized anyway uh taposia whatever starch i'm not good at reading a lot of these weird names it's like trying to read your medication 
You know, you can't really do that. Dextrose, calcium sulfate added to prevent caking. Uh, nice and natural. Anyway, it's probably not horrible for you. So that's what I'm getting at, you know. And then we have the extreme wellness uh, tortillas that I eat. And uh, I get these because they are low in calorie. There's only 80 calories uh, per tortilla. And it's the big tortillas. It's not the little teeny tiny ones. Um, so that's what I like now. The ingredients list on this is pretty good. Water, modified wheat, starch, wheat, protein, cellulose, whole wheat contains 2% or less of the following extra virgin olive oil, oil, spinach, salt, onion, garlic powder, spice, did -did -did gum, ground, flax seed, aluminum free, leaving whatever, something like that, sodium, bicarbonate or whatever, corn starch, mono calcium, something phosphate, preservatives calcium phosphate acid dough conditioner from anyway it's probably about as clean and decent of a tortilla as you're gonna get um, again I get them uh, number one because they're low in calorie 80 calories a piece and number two because they're really thin uh, I like the really thin tortillas next we're gonna look at eggs we all know what's in eggs chicken it's a liquid chicken guys don't let people tell you that eggs are unhealthy. If chicken's healthy, an egg is healthy. All right. I eat tomatoes all the time. I eat uh, sweet potatoes all the time. Let's go ahead and get this looked at. This is what I'm eating tonight. This is my ground turkey that I buy all the time and I have talked about uh, that I'm eating. It's 99% fat free. No preservatives, no added hormones or steroids. What I like about this is it's 99% uh, fat free. Uh, it has pretty low calories and a lot of protein. I typically eat the entire thing. There's four servings per container and uh, there's 120 calories per serving. Uh, the cholesterol is low, it's only 70 milligrams per serving. Um, protein is 28 grams per serving. So if I'm eating the whole thing, I'm getting a lot of protein. Ingredients, turkey breast, natural flavoring. Can't ask for much better than that. That's what I eat uh, quite a bit of as well. I'm going to put that over here because that's actually what I'm eating tonight with some green beans and a sweet potato. What, do, what else do I got here? Brussels sprouts, guys. Good old Brussels sprouts. What's in Brussels sprouts? Well, probably Brussels sprouts. Ingredients are... Brussels sprouts. Yep. So let's get these back in the freezer too. I'm not eating those. All right. Let's look at my bumblebee canned light tuna. Okay. Now I I go for the light tuna because it's typically less in calories. Uh, you also have to look out because sometimes they don't. Uh, you look at the calories, but it's not per can. It's per serving. And sometimes there's two or three servings in this little teeny tiny can. I don't think so. No, that's not two or three servings. But uh, I always get the one that says per can. And uh, this one here is 100 calories uh, drained per can. And I always get it in water. That's my choice to me. Water is more uh, natural and more healthy than any kind of oil that you're going to pack your stuff in. Uh, does it last as long? I don't know. I know I got a buddy on YouTube that kind of preps for things and he kind of stores things and he eats a lot of tuna in, in oil. And uh, he gets it because he thinks, you know, it, that it'll last longer. And maybe it does. But I get this. You know, I don't prep. I don't buy a lot of food and stuff and uh, put in storage. But I get this because it's in water. And to me, water is natural and healthier. That's why I do the water. But uh, sometimes you can actually find other brands that are less calories per can. So be on the lookout for that. Always look at that stuff. Now what we have is something I eat a lot of white rice some people eat white rice some people eat a brown rice and there's all kind of little mixtures in between it all depends on what you want how your body reacts to the rice uh, our bodies react to things differently and that's normal so what's in the rice guys let's look let's look at the ingredients here we have enriched pre-cooked long grain rice rice nice and I iron ferric whatever 
Anyway, we can't pronounce all that. Uh, and folic acid. So, I like a little acid in my diet. But, uh, really, rice is pretty clean stuff and it's good uh, for energy. It's got a good amount of carbohydrates in it and that, and that's why I eat that a lot after I work out because your body needs to have some carbohydrates in it along with proteins uh, to continue to build and nourish the muscles that you just broke down. So just to put it an easy way like that. Uh, let's look at oats. Now there's a few different kind of oats that you can get out there and a lot of them, you can get Quaker Oats, that's the big name brand, or you can get Great Value or whatever store brand you look at. Um, you can get minute oats, which is what I get. Uh, usually the they, they cook faster and that's what I'm looking for. Um, let's look at the ingredients. Whole grain, whole grain rolled, rolled, whole grain rolled oats. So, uh, they are good for uh, a lot of things. Um, oats are good for you to have. I eat uh, one to two bowls a day. All right, let's look at this here. We got my powdered peanut butter. Powdered peanut butter. Okay. The ingredients here are, the ingredients are roasted peanuts, cane sugar, and sea salt. That's it. That's all that's in this. Now go look at your peanut butter that you typically buy, and you're going to see a lot more ingredients than that. You don't need it. Here's a big one right here. Everybody likes, you know, that's into fitness and all that. I need my protein, man. Protein, protein. Well, guess what? I've got probably the healthiest and best protein on the market. And I ain't even kidding. You can get it at Walmart or you can get it on Amazon or whatever. Uh, I have a delivery service with it set up uh, to where I get it every month now. I went ahead and did that. And that's my IsoPure Zero Carb Protein Unflavored. I get the unflavored because why? There's nothing in it. Literally, the ingredients are whey protein isolate and soy lecithin, lecithin, whatever. That's it. That's all that's in there. That's as clean of uh, protein as you are going to get. It has 25 grams of protein and only 100 calories per serving. And that is, uh, if there's a protein on the market that I recommend, it's that. And uh, yeah, I'm glad I found it. And surprisingly enough, it's at Walmart. So yeah, I highly recommend that. Your protein is very important. Um, there's a lot of proteins on the market. And if you look at the ingredients, uh, you're gonna see uh, where they what separates them, okay? You don't want a lot of ingredients. There's no reason to have a lot of ingredients. None, zero zilch, none, nada. Okay, now we're looking at kind of like condiments or flavorings and different kind of stuff like that. And I use minced garlic all the time and all my stuff. Minced garlic, let's see, the min and minced garlic ingredients, garlic, water, citric acid and that's it minced garlic i use this stuff all the time now let's look at balsamic vinegar it's a sugar-free one that i buy i get this because it's extremely low calorie it's only five calories per serving and there is a little bit of ingredients going on and probably more than it needs Water, cider vinegar, balsamic vinegar, wine vinegar, concentrated grape, must, whatever, caramel color, dried onion, salt, dyed red, green bell peppers, xiaphan or something, gum, red, dried garlic, sulfate, whatever natural flavor. Anyway, there's nothing really horrible in here, and that's why that's another reason that I get it. And, uh, and also because it's very low calorie. See, I watch my calories, but I also like to make sure I get enough protein and all that kind of good stuff. So, Also, yellow mustard, that's one of my big ones that I use. I use it on everything from my breakfast burritos to my tuna wraps and chicken wraps and any other kind of thing that I want. Uh, it's just uh, one good thing, zero calories in it. No calories in mustard. Ingredients, vinegar, water, mustard seeds, salt, turmeric, 
turmeric, whatever, and paprika. I know what that word is, I just can't say it. But uh, that's it, that's all that's in mustard, nothing. All right, something else I use daily, pretty much almost every single day, is soy sauce. And I always try to get the less sodium. No, it's not quite as flavorful, but this kind of stuff has a lot of sodium in it. So we wanna try and, you know, cut out a little bit of sodium. The ingredients are a little bit in here. It's, it's water, soybeans, wheat, salt, lactic acid, sodium benzate, uh, less than one tenth of one percent as preservative, whatever, and that's it. Anyway, so that's all that's in there. But there's nothing in there. And the calories, it has 10, uh, 10 calories per serving, and that's one tablespoon. But, you know, I don't really measure all that kind of stuff out. I just put what I want because, well, you know, I'm watching pretty closely on everything else, as you can tell. So, with a, a couple of the, like, garnishment type things, the uh, the hot sauces and all this kind of stuff, I, I, don't, I don't worry as much. The next big thing I use, Louisiana hot sauce. Uh, it's the everyday hot sauce for everybody. It's not even hot. I just like the way it tastes. It has a good flavor to it. Just, it's a very simple thing. Zero calories in that as well, and that's one reason why I like it. Uh, let's see. Ingredients. Aged peppers, distilled vinegar, and salt. That's it. That's all that's in your uh, Louisiana hot sauce. Now, another thing that I buy and use every day is salsa and there's not much in salsa either and another thing that I like also about a lot of these things that I have are they they are low in calorie and the ingredients uh, for this is crushed tomatoes water water crushed tomato concentrate water jalapeno peppers onions distilled vinegar dehydrated onions salt natural flavorings garlic extract that's it that's all that's in salsa, man. It's good, it's healthy. Nothing wrong with eating that every day. I also eat a banana every day. I also eat anywhere from two to four uh, mandarin oranges every day. And yeah, all that stuff is getting costly. So I don't know how much longer I can keep eating well. But you'll notice everything I have is healthy, low calorie, uh, not too many ingredients and these this is my diet every day now I will throw in some green beans those are frozen green beans they're not out of a can they're frozen I put nothing in them they're just straight out of the bag I do get those I uh, started just now getting those actually I usually keep it the Brussels sprouts and asparagus but thought eh, I'll get some green beans uh, also, I'll show you. I use Mrs. Dash Table Blend. It's salt free. I use this on everything and I go through these by the tons. So ingredients are, I'm not even going to read it because there's nothing bad in Mrs. Dash. So you can go check that out at your local grocery store. I also use no salt. You know what this is? It's no salt. It's potassium. That's it. That's your ingredients. Potassium ingredients potassium chloride potassium bitirate whatever adapted adaptic acid silicone dioxide manure anyway nothing in there to worry about I also eat black pepper on everything we all know there's nothing in black pepper it's all good stuff also I drink tons of water and I drink tons of water I also drink, I'll show you these. I get these, these are carbonated flavor waters and they're pretty cheap. And if you like sodas and stuff, to me these are a good substitute because they are carbonated and they do taste good. Then there's all kinds of flavors and uh, there's not a whole lot in them. And I do know that they have the one sugar, whatever substitute that's not super healthy or super great for some people but it's not it's also a lot better than a soda so ingredients are carbonated water citric acid potassium citrate natural flavor aspartame that's the sugar or whatever that's not so good potassium benzate 
preservative, acid, flame, whatever, potassium. Anyway, that's all that's in there. That's not enough to worry about. Oh. I literally drink one of those a day and sometimes it lasts me on into the next day. And uh, I always have one, if I have one, just at my supper time as a treat with my supper. So there you have it guys. That's a rundown of the main foods that you're gonna see in my diet every single day. And that's why I can preach about it and tell you that diet can change your life. Diet is not a bad word. Diet doesn't mean carrots dipped in water. Diet is just simply the nutrition that you put in your body. And uh, the better nutrition you put in, the fewer ingredients that you put in, the better. I know, I'm living proof, okay? So I just wanted to share kind of my uh, grocery list with you a little bit. This is a big part of what I buy all the time. So anyway, guys, hope you learned something. Hope you enjoy. Leave in the comments what you eat, what you think, and uh, let's inspire each other every day. Get up, get out, get ready to do it, do it. And we'll see you next time on The Body Beatdown, where nutrition is life. See y'all later. Get up, get out, get ran, and do it, do it!